What's up ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about editing software. Now when it comes to editing software, you either know everything or you know nothing. You're either at iMovie or you're at Adobe Premiere, but that's not always the case. There are the people who seem to know some things, but not everything. The guys in the middle. And that's where PowerDirector 14 comes in. It's, com it's kind of like a combination of both. So you get the full feature editor in case you know your things, but in case you don't, there's also the easy editor. There's also another editor for anyone who doesn't want to deal with editing software at all for the most part and this is known as express project and this is what we're going to be focusing on all right so i'm actually going to go and show you guys how easy it is to use express mode now this is basically you don't have a lot of time or you recently bought a gopro for your dad and he has absolutely no idea what editing software is so you simply open up this mode for him what you do is you simply take either the opening the middle and the end and you take them and you place them into a certain order. Right now I have the opening right here. I'm actually gonna go and place down a middle and it's gonna place down a template filled with the perfect spacing for your video clips. It's also gonna have effects and you can go and tweak the titles if you guys wish, but most of it is done for you. All you have to do is simply take a clip from your media and place it into one of these blocks and it should turn out awesome. All right, so let's get to the fun things. So first of all, when you select a certain clip and then jump in the tools there's three different things you can do I'm actually gonna jump into the motion tracker and this basically allows you to add a title or something of that sorts to basically follow a certain person whether they're diving they're skating they're jumping any type of action this thing can track it and it can attach something to it all right, so this is a little box that's going to pop up. It says drag the selection box to mark the object you want to track. So we're actually going to track that object right there. Click and track, click the track button to start the motion tracking. So we're going to go and click the track button. As you guys can see, how cool is that? It tracks the skateboard all the way down through. So now I can go and add an actual title. So we're actually going to title this. We're going to call him Fuzzy his nickname and I'm gonna move this to right around here all right you can go and tweak the font you can go tweak the style uh, the size of the font whether it's centered or not but that looks pretty cool I'm gonna select smooth adjust effect size with tracked object and then you can actually tweak the border and maintain the aspect ratio should you choose to how cool is that so let me go and play this real quick there you go, tracks them. All right, so a lot of you guys have GoPros and action cameras and you're really going to like this new feature. So basically we're gonna jump into tools one more time and we're gonna select action camera center, okay? All right, we're gonna hit yes. And then you're basically going to get a bunch of tools directed at action cameras. So as you guys can see, we all know that GoPros make everything look a little warped out, especially when you post it on YouTube. So there's a cool thing called lens correction and you simply hit it, choose a camera. I'm gonna select JVC and just like that it should fix the distortion okay you can actually go and select any models they have everything from hdc to gopro to sony to roly so that's pretty awesome now all the settings are preset to make things easier however you can tweak certain things in case you guys want to there's another functionality known as video stabilizer we all know what a video stabilizer is however this one works particularly well there's also an enhanced version but for the time being i'm simply going to show you guys the normal version that all right pretty good now sometimes if you increase it too much it might warp out a little bit so decrease it and sometimes it might not look stable if it's too low so of course once again you can tweak the settings. You can also change the white balance and you can choose from a large variety of color presets. Finally there is effect where you can change the speed at which your video is playing so this is good for a uh, slow-mo or trying to time lapse and finally there's freeze frame which is also pretty awesome. 
I kind of made the video in a certain way to prove a point. It can be the most easy editing software you've ever seen, but those who wish to go above and beyond and know how to go above and beyond can easily do so. So it kind of, it's kind of the middle ground that we've been looking for when it comes to editing software, and that's what I like about it. Now, those of you guys who want to go above and beyond, it's not too, too hard, of course. As you guys can see, the simple things right here, there's effects, there's particles, there's PIP objects. You can download titles from the site. In fact, you can download particles and everything I'm showing you guys here off their site. There's also a voiceover section. This is the audio mixing section. There's a chapter room and finally there's a subtitle room. Once your video is complete, you simply go into the produce section where you can actually go and render it into a variety of file types depending on where you will be uploading this or keeping this or sharing this with whom. So the final thing I wanted to show you guys is this cool little thing. Now some of you guys probably saw these features and you're like, wow, this is awesome. And then you click the link and you're like, okay, that price is a little out of my range, even after the 70% off. So of course you can go and download something known as Action Director, which you'll also find on their site. And Action Director director does a lot of the same things that I mentioned in Power Director, but it comes at a much, much cheaper price. So while Power Director is full-fledged editing software, this is more made for the action cameras out there in case you do a lot of action cinematography, photography, so on and so forth with your GoPro. So as you guys can see, you simply drag and drop your files and then afterwards you get this cool little section. To access this, you simply hit action effects and right after that you can go and once again use all the cool things that i just mentioned so there's lens correction there's video stabilizer white balance color presets and replay and speed and freeze frame just like we saw last time now the software overall is a lot more downplayed than the actual full-fledged power director but it does a lot of the same things for a much cheaper price all right, hopefully you guys enjoyed these overviews and slight reviews of this software. Go ahead and check it out on the site for more information. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video overall. If so, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you to Fuzzy for being in the video and thank you to Cyberlink for sponsoring this episode. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.